Hey guys, it is Thursday, February 25th. I have nine eBay orders to ship out, and after that, I'm heading up north to Wapakoneta. I'm buying a big carload of stuff. I think you guys know the routine by now. I've done this, I think, four or five times. There's a really sweet lady up north. She meets me halfway, because she's around Toledo, and Wapakoneta is about the halfway point for us. She brings a carload of stuff that I always buy. It's always random electronics, housewares, just kind of whatever she has. And she doesn't like to be on camera, so I don't film or anything, but I always bring it back here and unload it and show you guys, and that's what I'll do today. Let's get to work. First thing I'm shipping out is a kid's vest, new with the tags. I got this last summer at a garage sale for $3, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a VHS tape right over here. Tales from the Crypt. I got this at a garage sale about a month ago. I paid a dollar for it. I always try to pick up like horror, you know, VHS tapes when I find it because they tend to do pretty well. This one sold for $13.99, free shipping. Next thing is an A31 right over here. This is a PS4 controller I got from the Picor resellers. Maybe two or three months ago, I've got about $5 into that. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next, we're coming over here to D2, and both of these sets sold. These were part of that big baseball card collection I just bought that I paid $500 for. These sold to two different buyers. Each one sold for $119.99 plus shipping. One of those sets is going out to a viewer named Oscar. He says, Longtime viewer, first time buyer, wanted to thank you for all the knowledge and for pushing me to start an eBay store. I started a year ago and absolutely love it. My store name is Tapping Into Deals as it's a play on my last name. Super excited to one day maybe even start YouTube. Thank you again. Oscar, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Saw a couple of hats. First is in C42. Matter of fact, I think they're both in here. I went to see the Mojo Casher crew yesterday and I bought some hats, some shirts, just a wide variety of stuff. Went ahead and listed the hats and two of them sold already. First is this Vintage Anaheim Angels Logo 7. And now they're the Cal they're the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim or something. It's weird. Like their their whole, you know, city and name and everything is kind of goofy now. But yeah, this is when they were just the Anaheim Angels. And I put the words spell out in the title because you know when, when something's spelled out like that i guess that's kind of desirable i'm trying to learn more about these vintage hats this one right here sold for 24.99 plus shipping and the next one that sold is a vintage atlanta braves hat right here tomahawk chop this one sold for 24.99 plus shipping as well that braves hat's going out to a viewer named drew who's bought for me before he says hey john thanks as always rat dog 44 ebay store sunshine state picker youtube drew thank you so much for the support hope you like that hat all right last thing we're shipping out is a signed lithograph right here this is by garrett hawk for the Dragon Age 2, I think, PC game. And I also got this from the Pickle Resellers. I probably got $30 or $40 into it because it was part of a bulk deal. It's signed and numbered to 500. And when I listed it, I took it out of the frame because I don't like shipping stuff like this with the frame. I prefer to take it out and roll it up and put it in a tube just because it helps protect it a little bit better. I had it listed for $150. Buyer sent me an offer of $130 plus shipping, and I accepted. And right after he bought it, the buyer uh, reached out and said, uh, please try to protect this as best you can. So I responded saying that I was going to roll it and put it in a tube, and he said that would be fine. All right, the orders are packed. I'm going to hit the road, and when I come back, I'll have a carload of stuff to show you guys. All right, guys, it is now the following day. I got back late yesterday. Didn't have time to dig all this out, but I got it all out now. I've got a handful of boxes here, and there's more boxes in there. I spent $200 on everything. I'm going to dig it all out and show you guys what I got. Okay, in here, I've got a couple of lamps. These are cool. Definitely vintage. It says Rayovac. So I guess a battery goes on the bottom here. These might be like camping lamps or something. Definitely different. Yeah, there's a pair of those. In this box, got some electronics, a DVD player, another DVD player, some portable CD players, Sony Blu-ray player, that's cool. I actually need a Blu-ray player because my son broke ours. He just picked it up and smashed it. We've got a tablet here. I think this is an Amazon one, maybe? Like the fire looks like an Amazon like fire, yeah, definitely Amazon. Not sure which model though. A couple more tablets, I think these are Amazon as well. We've got some kind of virtual reality headset, 
another virtual reality. Got some digital picture frames. I think there's a couple of those down in here. Got a laptop or something here by RCA. I don't even know RCA made laptops. It's kind of cool. Smart tab. Two in one tablet notebook. So I think this might detach right here. I don't know if that's the right thing for that or not, but that's cool though. All right, in the next box. Oh wow, there's a lot in here. We've got 24 karat gold plated die cast car. I'm trying to see who the driver is. Huh, I'm not sure. Still cool though. Got another die cast car. This is a Rolls Royce 122 scale. That's pretty neat. All right, we've got a lid to a piece of pottery in here, which I think is this one. Oh wow, this is nice. Truth of the Tea Troop, 92 to 2004, waiting at the bridge. Looks like maybe a Greyhound? What do you guys think? Is that a Greyhound? That's a nice piece though. It's pretty cool. We've got a Laminator. It's pretty neat. I've sold some of those over the years. Here's a couple of Craftsman pint glasses. Here's a cast iron coin bank. Definitely a reproduction. The Phillips screws are a dead giveaway, but still cool though. These can usually bring like 15, 20 bucks. And there's usually some kind of, yeah, so there's a mechanical mechanism here. So you push that down and the guy actually putts. So you put a coin here and he putts it into the hole. That's pretty neat. I think we got some cameras in here. Yeah, here's a Canon. What is this? Canon DVD, DC100 camcorder. Those do pretty well. And then in here, we've got an HP printer, PhotoSmart 145. All right, so this box, see a pennant, Wright State. That's actually in Dayton, about 45 minutes north of me. We've got a die cast car. Looks like there's some kind of COA in there with it too. That's pretty neat. It's got a different look to it. You guys ever seen one like that? It's like it's made to look like a pedal car. Yeah, action pedal car. Dale Earnhardt. That is neat. I've never seen one like that. Got a PC baseball game. Aaron versus Ruth. These cars I've seen before and I've sold a couple over the years. Let's, let's see. I think they're made by Auburn. A lot of two Auburn rust trucks. There's actually three of them in here, I think, that are all Auburn. Yeah, those are neat. They're kind of like rubber almost. We've got some like toy tractors and stuff. Official trail canteen for the Boy Scouts. Here's a San Francisco Giants flag or banner or something. Oh, wow. Did it say Beetle? Is that what that says? B-L-A. <laughs> I'm stupid. So this must have been for the uh, L-A. The Dodgers are in the NL, so it wasn't the World Series. I know the Giants won like three World Series in seven years. Does that sound right? Didn't they win? It was like two in five years or three in seven years. So I'm guessing they had to play the Dodgers in the NLCS to get to the World Series. We've got another one. I think this is the same thing. Yeah, beat LA. Let's see, their sleeve says World Series Champions 2014. So this might have been like 2015 or 16. Either way, that's cool. If it was Cincinnati Reds, I'd definitely be keeping it. Got some Power Rangers action figures. Posable, collectible, bendable figures. Evil space aliens. These are from 1995. We got a case for cassettes. Click case holds 36 cassettes. That's kind of cool. Got some handheld Tetris games. Believe it or not, I've done okay with some of these handheld plug and play games where you just plug it straight into the TV. Um, I've never sold this Tetris one before, but I'll look it up. It might be worth something. Got a set of knives and cutlery by Regent Sheffield. 
the handles feel like they could be Bakelite. But, again, I don't know Bakelite well enough to be able to tell one way or another. Like, I need to learn Bakelite a little bit better. But yeah, those are pretty nice. Alright, I got another cartload of boxes. First up, we got some toys. Here's an old Disney CNC World of Color from 88. Mickey's voice sounds a little weird, but that's cool. Oh, this is neat. Mario N6410 from 99. This might have been like a candy tin or something. Huh. That's kind of cool. And here's Yoshi. Almost dropped him. There's Yoshi from N64 as well. We got a Terry Labonte diecast car. Oh, this is cool. Stand up wine tool kit. We got a vintage die cast ultra service center 164 scale from Sunoco. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we've got it says anti tarnish silverware container. Let's see here. These are by oh gosh, it's really small. Might not be able to read this. It says 1947 Rogers Brothers. So these might be silver plate, might not, but either way, they should have a little bit of value. Got an old Polaroid. I've been selling so many of these lately. Got a little yellow pedal car. Color Me Bad cassette tape. Wow. Got a Regent Sheffield knife sharpener. Oh, wait, no, it isn't a knife sharpener. It's a knife. That's pretty neat. Oh, this is cool. This is an old Detroit Tigers team car set and album. Still in the packaging. 1988. Look at that. Abuse drugs and you are out. Got a 3DS XL. Hinge seems pretty strong. That's good. I want to see a charger, but I've got tons of chargers for these things, so I'll be able to test that out. A couple of these Samsung jitterbug phones. I heard somewhere that flip phones are starting to come back a little bit. I don't know if these were ever really used, but might not be worth anything. I'll look them up. We got a Funai 5-disc changer. Believe it or not, this Funai brand is really good. I sold some VCR DVD combos that were Funai. I want to say I got like $250 each. And that was three or four years ago. Now, a CD changer, I don't know, might not be worth much. We've got a Nextbook Flex 11. It's like a little laptop tablet thing. Oh, wow. Doesn't look like it was ever opened or used. That's pretty cool. Got a Jeff Gordon phone. <laughs> look at that. It's a 124 scale car, and it is a phone. Wow. That's kind of cool. We got another die cast. This is Mercedes Benz. 118 scale. Looks like it's missing the windshield. Got a little Mickey Mouse toy riding a horse. It says Ilco. I-L-L-C-O. Made in Hong Kong. Got an old Aladdin Stanley Thermos. Got a little bit of rust, but overall not bad condition. This is different. Lucky Buddha beer bottle. Multiple bubble blower? Rustcraft Boston. With this small bubbler, for you, there will be small bubbles inside of large bubbles to see. Hmm. Got an old vice of some type. Patent Meat Juicer Press. Osborne, Newark, New Jersey. Got a box of old stamps. These look really old. Index. A whole bunch of letters. I bet there's 50 or 60 of them in there. That's pretty cool. Got some more die cast. Something's making noise. Here's a Volkswagen Beetle. Little Fisher Price record player. These are cool. Got a cast iron muffin pan. It says one on the bottom, but I don't see a maker anywhere. Still, anything cast iron usually sells. Got a Santa Claus, choo-choo train, cast iron doorstop. 
All right, the last three boxes. I appreciate you guys hanging with me while I dig through all this stuff. We got an antenna. At least it looks like. Yeah, long distance Wi-Fi antenna. That's cool. RCA digital tuner. These tend to bring 15 bucks or so if you've got the box. Maybe like 20, 25. Look at this old phone. Oh wow. This is straight out of the 80s. The alarm clock. I remember this phone. I think my parents had this phone when I was growing up. Probably not worth much, but I think it's kind of cool. Made by Holson. Oh, okay. These are for pictures. So it slides out and you put a bunch of pictures in there. Got two of those. Here's a uh, Disney Pixar Cars Viewmaster. I don't know if there's slides in here for it or not, but that's pretty neat. Got a Photomax showcase. So you put pictures in there and just turn the dial to show the, show the photos. Way before the uh, digital picture frame, obviously. This is Welsh Allen Tycho's. Gosh, what are these called? See that? I'm going to try to pronounce that. Sphygmomanometer? <laughs> I'm sure you guys are laughing at me right now. Sphygmomanometer. Nanometer. I don't know. Pocket, aneroid, that thing. Okay, I think these are the slides for... Yeah, okay, cool. So there is a huge thing of slides for that cars viewer this is cool harry potter finding nemo might have to take this home to my daughter i bet she'd get a kick out of it got another one of those holson photo boxes here is a ge transceiver basically a walkie-talkie oh okay there's two of them wow that is old Fortunately, the little top is broken off, but somebody might just want it for decoration. This one's got its top. Wow, that has a really cool look to it. All right, last box. Let's see what's in here. I see a lot of camera stuff. Got a little Sony Walkman. Here's a Speed King diecast metal miniature. It's pretty cool. We've got some lenses. ProMaster 28 to 70 millimeter, another ProMaster 80 to 200 millimeter. Got a Canon lens, 50 millimeter. Oh wow, here's a cool camera. If I can dig it out of here. Wow, this thing's heavy. I thought this was a Polaroid, but now I'm not so sure. Let's see if I can get this thing opened. Yeah, Polaroid land camera, model 95A. I've sold a handful of these over the years, and I want to say the last one I sold for around 75 It might have been a different model, and I'm sure the values have changed since then, but yeah, these are so cool. Got an old motorcycle inner tube. New old stock, it looks like. And lastly, we have a pair of military pants, it looks like. I'm seeing kind of maker on here. I'm not very good with military clothing, so if anybody watching this knows... Kind of like what era this is from. I would love any kind of information on these. I know that took a while. Guys, thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.